What's up guys, this is TBC from ETR Gamer, playing StarCraft 2 once again, and yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you guys unit composition and positioning video for Terran. Um, Terran's pretty standard, um, so I'm going to be showing a few engagements in this video, and um, also just the strategy, uh, which is really popular in the GSL right now, just um, drops, uh, Blue Flame Hellion drops, and... Um, constant bio drops throughout the game um, and how effective those are and um, yeah basically uh, how crazily awesome uh, Blue Flame Hellions are against SCVs. So this is a TVT, um, this is me TVZ in the bottom left as the blue turn and the top right Daniel as the purple turn. Um, so let's get started, I've skipped up to the 7 minute 50 mark um, just to show you guys because um, no point the beginning of the game was just us building up and macroing so let's get started I'm um, just gonna play here um, so Daniel's um, got his blue flame hands at the front of the base um, and he starts poking at the front of the base and just as he pokes up again watch how um, now you gotta watch your Marines basically so just watch my Marines die um, in the meantime, I've loaded up uh, three Blue and Flame Hellions in this medevac, which I will send to Daniel's base. However, um, just speed it up a teeny bit, and um, I'll show you now um, just how effective Blue Flame Hellions are, and especially in the early game. So um, they're really useful later on um, for harass. Uh, so don't count them out. But um, I'll just show you here. So he pokes up here, and um, I have nothing but these Marines and Marauder to hold this off. Otherwise, yeah, if I take SCVs to um, repair, they're just going to get killed. So look at how many Marines get melted there. Almost every single one, one survives. And I have to keep popping up by to stop that. Meanwhile, my medevac is up here. Don't forget about that one. Um, so I've got these Marauders. I just keep pumping Marauders for the time being, because they're the best thing to do against these um, Hellions. If you ever have any trouble, just get Marauders. Um, so as you can see, they're just going to come straight in, going straight to that middle line. Um, uh, however, um, as this is going on, I'll just pause it there. I have uh, three uh, three he blue flame hellions dropped there, um, and Daniel can just see that in his vision. Um, and Daniel has what it is: base one marauder and a hellion, and I believe that is all. Um, so I'll show you how this pans out. Um, let's just go here. Um, so he's still got those going for my SCVs. I send these blue flame hellions, and look at how much damage this does. Uh, let's just go to the unit counting station. So 14 to 16 SCVs. Um, these blue bay helms going to work on these SCVs. One gets taken out. I do believe I should be able to micro this sooner or later. I believe I move this out of the way. Yes, I do. To continue the damage and harass because I need to do as much damage as I can due to the attack I had on my base. And look how many SCVs get taken out. It is insane. There is four SCVs left and I had to run out of there. I wanted to get those out. Um, with that medevac, but I didn't want to risk that medevac getting shot down, which probably wouldn't have happened because there's nothing to attack it. But yeah, these um these aliens get cornered and get taken out. So that was that. I want to show you guys how effective those blue flame aliens are. And imagine if I had a two pronged attack from one side and another side with all those aliens, probably would have got every single SCV um, and even taken out his uh, 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 forces. Um, <laughs> that was a proxy factory. He Daniel decided to build there to be a bit cheeky. Um, so I still got. I'm going for a bio army. Um, just Marine Marauder medevac. Um, MMM is sometimes what it's called. It's very standard. I'm just going to speed up a bit to get this in the engagement. I want to show you. I'm trying to can continue my map control um, and keep that medevac uh, away from Daniel's base. So he's got siege tanks up, he's kind of going to start turtling a bit for that damage he took. Even I know there's not going to be an attack coming, um, so I'm just going to go and continue my harass if possible. Now that medevac gets spotted, nothing really happens here. I try to take out a few Hellions, but that's it. Um, so just continue speeding on through. Um, sooner or later Daniel will move out and I'll show you an engagement here. So I pick up all my guys. I got a reasonably big drop full of Marauders and Marines and do as much damage to uh, him as I can. He's got uh, 12, oh, he has 13 SCVs. Now he's got them and there you go. Um, so that was a really, really brief look at another drop. Um, how much damage it did. Uh, excuse me, how much damage it did. Ca killed a couple of SCVs and I lost nothing. So. It's a win for me there. Um, now I can just drop my guys, heal them up. Um, that's generally what you want to do as Terran. Do this as much as you can. For you, this is basically just for you new players, um, just to show you how effective it is. And if you can macro at the same time, then it's good. Um, I got a mini force over here and an, a few guys, and just building up my army as well. And I just got these medevacs sitting out here. Um, 
really good way to defend it, which Daniel does not have the resources to do at this point in time. He's just playing a few um, anti-air turrets there, just to uh, make sure you can um, catch those medevacs and possibly kill a few of them with some guys inside, which is really good. Another drop going down here, and doing so much damage, just taking out more and more SCVs. Um, however, the siege tank that Daniel planted here did a lot of damage, um, and I do believe I get out with just those three. There. And now I'm moving out to the middle of the map, um, and yep, yeah, so I'll come and bring this to combine with here. So uh, I will show you this engagement that's coming out. Daniel is moving his tanks out now. His positioning of tanks is really good. Um, oh, except for that tank, which I managed to pick off, which was bad by Daniel. But as you can see, um, I cannot see his tanks there um, in my vision from the Zelnaga Tower, and he cannot see that I have guys there. Although I'm pretty sure he assumes I probably do. Um, but you see how he's lined his tanks up here: one, two, three, and then a couple at the back. The really good thing about that is I've got to come and run in, which I believe he tries to force me to engage here. Um, I have to run in. He he he's got one, two, three tanks, which I have to cover that ground all the way to get them, and then there's two extra there. So he pulls me in with those. Um, I don't. I was <laughs> I was going to go for a cheeky little job on top, but I didn't really know what he had, so I pulled back in for that idea um, and drop all my guys. And I do believe that I engage now. What you want to see here um, is just how many here go. He's got um, five siege tanks set up here, and then he has um, two more coming down with a few marines, and three marauders, two marines, and then I have this huge bio army, and I send in one marauder. That's a good thing to do, by the way, guys. I send it in. I think I'm okay, and then I stop right on top of his tanks. But just look how decimated my army gets. I'm lucky enough to pull out that quick. And I lose half my army and only a couple of siege tank blows, and he gets all his bio, and he's got two more tanks to reinforce it. So, really good engagement for Daniel there. Um, and meanwhile, um, I've still got to rebuild all that bio, so not a great engagement for me. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you that engagement. Um, so great way to position your tanks um, for you guys if you're ever going to marine tank build, um, and what not to do if you uh, have a bio army. Um, what I did is I sent in a Marauder um, to see what he had. Um, a really good thing to do is probably, if you have enough Medivacs, maybe chuck one of those out there because it's air, see what you've got, um, see what they've got, excuse me. Um, and, yeah, make sure you can uh, actually win that engagement. This is where I just find out so that Daniel's got um, this here sooner or later. I find that out. Um, okay, so I'll just... Daniel's got a nice mid uh, mid control area um, but I have a big drop coming at the top so keep an eye on that just so you know um, because once again always got to keep those drops coming um, I've probably even not done enough uh, to be honest um, a really good time to would have had to drop was in the middle engagement if I had a drop right there waiting could have popped it down there and it would be like too many things happening at once and it's a really good way to throw players off so I've got another drop coming in up here soon um, Daniel's still got his contain in the middle um, nothing for me to be worried about um, as this drop will go down and it's going to do a lot of damage. As you can see, Daniel doesn't really have much there and he's sending it all out of his base. That's one thing you got to watch for, guys. Um, always have uh, Vikings on the map. Uh, Daniel currently has no Vikings. And I have none as well. Um, although he hasn't gone for any drops for me. So he's moving out now. I'll just speed it up a teeny bit. Um, and this drop has gone down and just. I'm, I'm just going to leave you that for the time being because that did so much damage so Daniel decides I've got to move in and do some damage as well he sets up his siege contained there um, but just so much damage going down over here um, and then Daniel sends his guys in and this is something you don't want to do I misclick here terrible terrible move there uh, losing all those marauders could have helped with my bio army and yeah that was bad um, however my, my drop is just doing immense damage to the production facility that tank will not be able to get out um, and yeah, I mean, I've just decimated his base, and I will move down here to this oversaturated expansion, which he should be moving workers over here, because, yeah, you know, there he goes. Um, he's still got a good siege contain outside my base, so he knows I'm not really going to be going anywhere. Um, I'm going to plan that down there and just get another, um, a, another orbital command. Now, I'm setting this army down here. Now, watch here. as I just get in quick enough, just as those tanks siege? They were already sieged. I probably would have had a lot more loss. Um, so that was good. Um, I took advantage of the fact that he was unsieged. That's always what you want to do if you're against the Terran, if you're any race, um, and they have um, unsieged tanks. You really got to take advantage of the fact that they're not. Um, oh, excuse me. He's got, oh, he's got a couple of Vikings. You got to take advantage of the fact that they are um, not in siege mode. Um, 
so he's still got the siege container. He's kind of weary about what he should do. Um, I'll speed it up a bit. Um, so he's sending his tanks up, and he puts the contain there, uses his bio to go in, and I'm just trying to attempt to do some form of war here, which doesn't really work. And oh, saw that down, and sending in all that bio, and getting decimated from these tanks. It's just incredible how much damage they do. Just annihilating everything I have. Um, although I've still got my um, my bio force over here with, from the previous drop, doing so much damage to the SCDs, killing almost every single one. However, he's right in the middle of my base sieging up and I don't really have anything to do. I've got a small bar of force that I've been building up in my base, sending in the SCVs, um, doing as much damage as they can, but they unfortunately all get taken out. Um, so, yeah. Now, let's just pause and take a look at the battlefield. So he's got four tanks here, um, and that's essentially it, is it? Uh, yes. And I've got a bio force here. Now, do not underestimate these tanks. If they are sieged up, which I believe he does soon, um, they can just do so much damage to your bio army. Um, at this point, obviously, I'm not lost. I mean, I've still got um, mining bases available uh, and another expansion up here, and Daniel's kind of just got nothing with four tanks. So, yeah, he, I've essentially won the game. However, it's really good to know that um, a ways of uh, attacking this force, like... So I've got... My, my forces are split. I've got one unit up there and my, my other unit up here. So just watch how this plays out. Um... I could have timed this a bit better, but I'll show you. Um, what I do is I flank from one side, so I send in this force here, send in my medevacs first to get a good view, um, and I should be stimming them, which I have an option to fail, so I lose half of those. But what I do is I flank from the other side as well, sending these guys in, and it's not a very good example, but it is an example nonetheless, and there's a GG from Daniel, just ways you can flank this um, sea shank. You've got to take advantage of the immobility of these uh, mech styles. Um, uh, with or with just siege tanks, so very important to be able to pick those off. But that is it, guys. Um, that was a simple bio uh, build uh, or unit composition for Terran, the MMM, Marine Mortar, Medivac, and showing you the uh, power of drops as well um, for all you new players. Um, and yeah, so this is TBZ from ETR Gamer. Um, if you want more videos, uh, let us know if there's anything you want us to make for you. Post in our channel or below, um, and we'll be happy to bring out anything we can for you guys. Um, any games at all, just so you know. Anything, anything at all, let us know. Um, also, we have um, a new... Uh, we're going to be organizing, uh, trying to allow people to send us their content, and we can get it out for them, and um, show everyone their stuff, which would be really cool. But more on that later, I'll probably give you the few bit of information on that with Crispy. Um, however, yeah, guys, uh, that's all for, for now. Um, more StarCraft 2 to come. Don't you worry about that. And, yeah, so this is TBD from ETR Gamer, and thanks for listening, guys, and I'll talk to you later.